Wait, good morning, little Timmy. How What's are up, you? What's up, Nick? Nick? What's up, baby? How you doing, boo? I'm good, but how you doing? I can't remember which is which on this thing on uh microphone thing. Mm -hmm. How you doing, boo? You know, you know, we at least we on time, Nick. Oh yeah, we on time today. On time. I think it's the one I that's the one we want. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tag my people in this. Oh, tag your people. Okay. Let me let me see. Timmy. Yeah, I got people. I got people. You got people, boo? I got people. Well, as long as you got people, man. Not a lot of people, but it's people. Your children and your wife don't count. Yeah, my, my grandmother got cataracts. She said, I don't see y'all. So you <laughs> never see his grandma. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she don't see nobody. She don't see nobody. Grandma. How grandma. you doing? Nothing, babe. How was the weekend? I saw you. You look so amazed, balls. Good morning, Bree Bree. Welcome to the party. Nah, New York was we, fun. We were to that. Yeah, I was, at huh? Harlem. I was at Harlem this weekend. Oh, yeah? How was that? Nice. Right on Lennox Avenue. I did a church in Harlem this weekend. It was lovely, man. The church was great. Shout out to Ray Dijon and all the comedians that was on the show. Uh, I was with Dick Gregory's nephew. He a comedian. Oh, Mark. Yeah. He's funny, right? Young guy, yeah, man, funny. He got a lot of energy, just like Dick Gregory. Tina, I need to call you as soon as we get off this feed. I I was just, I need you. I need you today. How you doing live text on the goddamn radio? You doing well, live text? That's because this that kind of show, nigga. Don't no. judge me. <laughs> Fuck your ass. You sitting there texting on Tina. Tina, I need to call you, know, you right away. She's away. Hey, boo boo, she came into the feed, so I Tina had to. Graham. Hi, I Tina Graham. Hi, Tina. That is the godmother of urban comedy. Fuck your ass, Timmy. What you mean? I, I, I just did one of Tina's shows and blew it up. Tell them, Tina. You know, blew so you like, like, don't know who she is. She's I, my Oprah, and she ain't nobody's motherfucking Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime I see her, I'm going to talk to her. I don't give a fuck where I am. I could be at the podium with the president and Tina Joanne Graham come in the motherfucking room. She's going to get my attention. Damn right. That's right. Tina Graham did a lot for me. Tina Graham did a lot for a lot of people. Tina Graham, Tina, you need to, she probably ain't got herself pulled together. She got that glam shot on there. But I, I told her I bring her into the feed. Her ass is going to decline. Look, look at You see that picture? Look like she's trying to sell Chrysler. Look like she's trying to sell some cars. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. She said Timmy's great. What about me? What about me, Tina? Tina, <laughs> don't lie to her. Don't lie to her, Tina. That's how you that's how you go down. Not to me. <laughs> Good morning, Tammy. Welcome to the party. Hey, how Tammy. you doing? What's up? Nothing. How was your so, weekend? My weekend was good. I saw you at the uh graduation. Yeah, my son graduated. That was so cute. Morning. Yeah, he did a great job. He's he very proud of that boy. Tina said you are a Jersey favorite now. Man, I love it. Somebody like that nigga. Whatever. What's up, Wig? What you want with him, Tracy? You call me. I'm his manager. Don't talk directly to him. You call me, nigga. Respect <laughs> the chain, all right? And all you motherfuckers out there, respect the goddamn chain. Timmy, you stop taking them calls, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jack, what's up, boy? Good morning. Welcome to the party. The mayor of the Green Line, y'all. Joe Jack need to come in here and talk to us. That old lady, you know, he, he turns into an old lady. That's his alter ego. Thank you, Rod. Thank you. I appreciate you, somebody. A star. A star. A star. I'm a star. A star. First of all, she, she, she ain't even a street light, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> She a street. You gotta be a street light. Then she ain't a damn street light. Don't be a hater, little Timmy. You see that the universe don't like bullshit. The universe don't like bullshit. That's why that nigga shit froze. There you go. I sent them junkies to take his. Uh, to take his. I'm, good. I'm coming to the country, wigs. You come to the city, and I'm coming to the country. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up, wigs? Welcome to the party. <laughs> So, Timmy, oh, my bad. I don't know what happened. I did that. That wasn't even Lil Timmy in his bars this time. That was me. That was all me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I told you. That's what you got to do to people. Listen. Look, that's, that's the new thing. Your girlfriend, your wife, fussing at you, just say that. <laughs> What's wrong with you, nigga? I froze, bitch. 
<laughs> That's right. Freeze, nigga. Freeze, sucker. Remember, get Christy love. Freeze, sucker. Freeze, sucker. <laughs> That's right. He got that cricket service. Welcome to the party, everybody. So listen, let's get right to it. Hi, Nita. You are at the party. You have joined the party. Hey, Nita. This is the party. Welcome to the party, y'all. So we we're gonna um go get our producer and and then we're gonna get right to the news and, and let's let's greet uh Big Dale. Big Dale wanna hang out with us today. Come on, Big Dale. Live from the house. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, Timmy? What's up, what's Nikki? Up, what's how y'all feeling? Good, what's man. up, family? How y'all doing out there, family? I see we got a lot of family joining us today. Thank y'all for joining us. Good morning. Welcome to the party. Oh yes, hold on. She said something really important. Tina said, wait a minute, what'd she say? <laughs> Nikki Moore is one of my favorites. Yes, keep it real, comedian friend. Let me tell you something. You, Tina Graham. When they put the word friend at the comedian, they just try to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you. Fuck you, Timmy. They call me comedian. That's it. Comedian friend. Are you trying to drive tell this nigga what the gig is? <laughs> That's some bullshit right there. You call that nigga my little Timmy. My office out here is from nine to five. Hey Tracy, I'm not gonna call that you. That shit didn't happen to you. Party, you need to fix that. Whatever it is. That's that's Dell shit. I know he got us screeching and whatnot. We was doing good. Don't get put out the party. Right. What the hell y'all talking about? That ain't my shit. I ain't, I ain't got nothing going on. That's an echo. Dell got an echo. Dell, mm-hmm. get your shit together, boo. How I got an echo? I ain't doing it. I'm coming through the phone. Hold on. No, nah, you coming. Something. It's creeping. It's creeping. We're going to have to put you out the party. All right. That's cool. Tina says she don't yeah. consider anybody a friend. And that, I know that's true. I know that for a fact. Tina don't fuck with everybody, and if she fuck with you, she fucks with you. I've been on, I've been on Tina twenty years. I just became her friend last week, <laughs> and that's <laughs> it. That's right, it. So, still on the border now. So, so yeah. good morning. What is this? The, is this is this too early for this shit, or is this the Dion Warwick morning show? This that's what friends are for. Can we get to the news? But hold on. You got to put your phone on, though, boo. You got to screech. It's, it's echo or scratch coming from your thing. What the hell's the nigga doing? He calling somebody. Yeah, the phone got typewriter. Oh, nigga, phone with a phone typewriter. <laughs> no, I, I turned I turned it down to see if that help. That did help. Thank you. Yeah. That's what it is. The nigga had his phone on AARP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nigga, I told you to get you a good plug. <laughs> Nita said it was squeaking. It was like he had his phone. We figured it out, Nita. He had his phone on AARP. Right. Yes, I'm going to call you, Tracy, right after the show, boo. Because <laughs> it's too early for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bree. She said, did y'all see Black Godfather movie on Netflix? Bree is uh, Netflix need to give us. We need Netflix as a motherfucking sponsor. Because yeah. Bree be showing up goddamn uh, popping for Netflix. Out she be there. all doing a lot of Netflix. Then she be chilling with that or she just Netflix? Netflix and chilling, man. Yeah. No, who's the Black Godfather? Who is I heard that? about it. I who is I heard about it. Oh, okay. Bree, we got to talk about that tomorrow because I don't, I don't know who that is. There she go. There she go. This bitch is hot already. Ain't hot. Ain't this? Ain't Timmy? This bitch is already hot. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's it's too early for your shit. Okay. It's too early to be hot, nigga. Why are you hot, nigga? Why are you hot now? <laughs> God damn. You oh, easy to make other bitch. Why are you hot? <laughs> what you mean? You put up an easy bake oven. Why the fuck you hot? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, easy to make oven. <laughs> 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 so she, she over there making muffins. <laughs> hey, you, um, did, you gotta be a bad off ass nigga to get banned from Spirit. Oh, okay. yeah, that'd be horrible. Some clown got banned from Spirit Airlines because he was on the airlines vaping 
in the goddamn bathroom. The nigga thought he got by. He said he blew the smoke. Blew my hands and he blew the smoke into the bag. <laughs> but the vapor must have got to the captain or somebody. That nigga went down. According to CNN, the man was eventually banned. He, who was eventually banned was headed to NOLA. Okay, New Orleans. There's some bammers in New Orleans. You yeah. already know. This nigga apparently thought he had got by. He gets off the plane and what happened, Dale? But look, but look, and then the nigga sitting next to a snitch talking about he had bottles of liquor. He done snuck little bottles of liquor and was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, the nigga got off the plane for no. He got off the plane for no. Told the police officer he didn't know you couldn't smoke on the plane. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. He probably was on the first plane he ever rode in life, right? What's that right now. Uh-huh. Airline, but one step up from a crop duster. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I read that story. I was like, you see, he probably, after riding that motherfucker for a time, he probably happy he got put out spirit. Got there. He's like, <laughs> spirit, spirit was a step yeah. up to this motherfucker. This nigga was usually riding a broom. <laughs> No, no. Spirit Airlines, like, that's the Greyhound of airlines. Okay. They ain't nothing but a Greyhound. Nigga, that's not even the Greyhound. That's the trailway. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the trailway of airlines. That motherfucker. That's the, bl- that's the big blue bus guy there. He got the one dollar on it. <laughs> oh, no. He said, depend on what he was vaping. Ah, he was vaping. <laughs> He was vaping, getting banned. That's the fuck he was vaping. He had no hopes and dreams in that vape. Good. That motherfucker had like, I don't have no hope Nigga. in life. I'm spirit saying. charge, spirit charge you for motherfucker everything. That's I remember when bad. I used to have to get me a belt extension. Them motherfucker tried to charge me sixty dollars for a belt extension. <laughs> Shit, I got about three of them still. <laughs> and you know what's funny about that shit? I was a spirit airline. You know how they tell you about the safety thing? This bitch said the oxygen might come down or it might not. <laughs> this bitch said the oxygen dropped down, it might or might not. I said, this bitch might or might not. <laughs> If the air is not flowing, if the air is not flowing through the little tube, put 50 cent in the slot above your head. <laughs> if you want to breathe, bitch. <laughs> it might or might not come down. It might or might not come down, depending on who the fuck you is, nigga. Don't get that nigga no oxygen, because the last time he was on here, he ain't act right. <laughs> that was funny. It's airline. First class, all it means you got cushions on your seat. That's it. Everybody else got fucking lawn chairs. They got cushions. Oh, listen. So, you know, it was Pride Weekend this weekend, right? Del knew. No Pride. Okay. Hello. Listen, the gays was. Yeah, under I was down there trying. I was down there trying to get some news, and um, uh, I- I'm on to inform so, y'all. Tim was on. Timmy. <laughs> you know the gays love Lord Timmy though. They love Lord Timmy. They. But do. what about gays. the dude with the BB gun? That was you talking about. You about about the dude with the BB gun down there? Yeah. Well, tell the story, Dale. They say the dude was down there with a BB gun got mad because somebody tried to hit on his mate. What? With a BB gun? <laughs> with a BB gun. <laughs> they end up evacuating the motherfucking gay pride parade. So it's days running everywhere. Sissy's all over the place. Ah! 
Hey Dell, <laughs> hey Dell, I know you're tired. <laughs> I know you had to run your ass. <laughs> Dell still got Dell still got glitter on his beard. Get that glitter out your beard. <laughs> 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 Y'all should leave my friends alone. Y'all know the case. I was a whole bunch of teachers. I'm with him. Teachers ain't with him. I'm with him. No, I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with that one. I love the gays. I fucking love the gays, okay? Because the gays have fun like nobody has fun, honey. I went to a place in Orlando this past week, and you know, they got like this whole, old, whole gay resort. Okay, the sissies was up in that bitch, and they was like all men, only two. I only seen two lesbians in there, mm. and all white. And you know, there's also a racial divide even among gays. Like really? they have pride, then they have black pride. Really? Yeah. You know what's funny about gays? I got a buddy, my found out he was gay. I wasn't making gay. He never tried to hit on me. Never. I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, nigga, what's wrong with me? He said, like, you ain't my type. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> going to the gym. Like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Why? What? Look at my face. What's wrong with me? <laughs> that can't get, that can't get get turning just like real women. Don't know why you want your ass to. So what? funny. Now I start working out. The nigga keeps stalking me. I got to get a fucking ex parte against this nigga. He's going to stay away from me. Look. <laughs> you know what? We had, um, I had a video of a uh, little fat Timmy. I, I don't know what happened to it. I got rid of little fat Timmy, y'all. So Timmy used to be fat. And he, he was so funny. Timmy, you can't talk about fat people no more, nigga, because your little pudgy ass was short and fat. It was hilarious. Yes. Before we get off this motherfucking broadcast, I'm going to find Fat Timmy's ass. Don't, be, don't find that bitch. <laughs> find, you I'm find Fat Timmy, I'm going to find Crack Nicky. Keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find Crack Nicky. We got on the plane, and me and Lester, old man Lester. So me and Lester gets on the plane, and you know it's them three seats. I wanted to upgrade my seat because it's not comfortable being a big bitch riding in coach. Okay? Right. So... But I had gotten the tickets together. We was flying from LA from the uh Comics Rock Convention. I had gotten the tickets together, and so only way I could upgrade is if both tickets upgrade. This nigga ain't want to upgrade. So we get on the seat, the, the plane is like a seat in the middle, and I'm sitting there and I said, What is it's watch watch some fat bitch come and squeeze in here and, and it'll be just my luck. He looked over. He said, "Um, she's already here." <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Nikki. When y'all in coach and you big, do y'all get the arm rest print in your side? What? Like, you know, you, like when you said you big and you sitting in the goddamn plane, the arm rest. Did that be digging in your side? Y'all get that big arm rest print? Not just the arm rest, the seat belt, everything, nigga. <laughs> if a motherfucker got something look, in his pocket, that hey, shit. look, hey, look. So, so for me, I could pull. I used to pull that motherfucker out well, but damn, motherfucker, to say something. Yeah, and people get mad. They be looking at you, and the white people are really a trip with it, right? The white people are sliding down easy. They be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what's funny? First, when I'm with a big bitch, the first thing I think about is this plane go down, and we need some food. I mean, this bitch first. <laughs> Cause she probably gonna taste like chitlin. I mean, this bitch. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive off this big bitch here. Do you remember that time, Timmy? We got on that little ass plane. We were going to Farmington, New Mexico. Oh my god! Yo, that motherfucking plane. Timmy was tall as the plane. That's on the outside. Yo. I had to just bend over getting on. Timmy gonna tell me sit in the middle of the balance the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nigga, it was so bad the captain had a sweatsuit on. Said, Who the fuck is this captain? They got a sweatsuit on. Oh, the captain got a sweatsuit. Jack, that's who that motherfucker was. He was Captain Jack. Yeah, that was a, that was a <laughs> subsidiary of <laughs> a spirit. Huh? Uh, <laughs> that shit is terrible. That's the only. That was the only thing worse than riding spirit. That, oh yeah, was that shit? That's yeah, shit I bet. the worst. Yeah. So I don't want to dampen the mood, but. Back in the news, y'all, the dirty bitch, Linda Fuckstein from uh, the New York. They pulled her shit, though, right? Huh? They pulled her shit, though, right? 
they pulling her shit. That bitch is going down. Yes. Let's yes. Keep her on fire. Okay. Let's keep her in the news. Let's keep her losing. Yeah. Just like she had them boys yeah. lose all of that, all of that time. Linda Fuckstein, fuck you, you evil bitch. I you. finally completed the movie. I finally completed the series. Oh my god! Awful. Like, I'm, it's I'm, hard to watch, man. It's really hard to watch. Man, that, man, that shit. Like after this, after after the after I completed the first and the second, man, I was ready to go outside and just find somebody white and just. No, that's it. That shit was horrible, man. It was horrible, man. That's stupid. That sounds like that. that What's his name said? Uh, Liam Neeson. He wanted to fuck up my like black person. Girlfriend got his friend got beat up. No, that's dumb. That's I wanted to fuck her up. Not yeah. not not anybody just because they. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, just just those officers. It was just those officers in period for me. Like I know those type of movies like that really get at me. Like that. That's crazy. Yeah, well, that's you, crazy. You take them young kids like they, that. They, thank you. They dealt. Thank you for fucking about white sponsors. We appreciate it. You know, fuck them all the white sponsors. We done done now. <laughs> the only people we got left now, we got nobody. See, that's the thing we keep we keep uh, doing. It's not about white. It's about yeah. fucked up individuals. Yeah. You have to be a horrible. It's horrible black people too now. It's not yeah. just about white people. Right. This is a humanity thing, and people like that are inhumane. Period. She's okay. an evil bitch. She's I mean, I'm, and, and, that, and that's true. Even even the uh, black officer that was in the room when they was going over the case, listening to it, didn't say nothing. That, he just as guilty as they are. Yeah, he is. He was just as guilty. But my Who? thing is, man, how, how did the jury convict him on that bullshit? I still don't understand how the jury convicted him. How? Listen, no it's 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 about race. It's like the jury went with um went with the the popular opinion. They went with the press. They probably yeah. threatened them. It's all kinds of shit. Yeah, they were they was convicted before they was tried. Just like he did. Just like the officer did with the boy's father. You know, when he told him, he told him where he worked. He told him all that shit, being black and feeling uh, defeated by society and by your circumstances is a real thing, you know? No, I don't. No, and Nikki, fuck his father. I'm a father first. Right. Father. I don't give a damn. I, I, I right. give a damn about that boy father. That boy I father agree. Defeated. Huh? Wait, did he freeze? Your father. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, fuck your father. Yeah, I, I mean, I like, 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 like Roger, like Roger said on here, like you go through so many emotions, but you, but you think about it, like that shows like a lot of people in the community that that that's fearful and grow up in that um old school feel mentality and don't know and 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 just think that if if they do this, it's gonna be all right, but they don't know the outcome of what if they do this. Yeah. Like, yeah, but, like no, like no man, no man would tell their son now to 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 sign a piece of paper or say they did something that they didn't do. Yeah. No man yeah. should ever tell on that. No person yeah, yeah. should should ever tell anybody. That. Person, right, right. You should right. never tell your child to lie unless a bill call, unless a bill company call. <laughs> Good morning, big who? What's up, bro? <laughs> when Timmy? <laughs> Don't you ever lie. Tell your children do not lie unless a bill company comes to the door. Or call. That's when they can lie. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy ain't home. That's when you got to lie there. Yeah. yeah. I agree with God, man. I, I was more than mad at the father, too. Yeah. I was more than mad at everybody who, but then sometimes you just have to put yourself in people's shoes because it's easy for us to say. I'm, I'm a different kind of person, and I will challenge most situations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But shit like that, man, I I will fight if I'm standing by myself. But a lot of people would say, okay, we're going to go in there. All else going to steal them. And you hit a motherfucker, and you turn around, you're the only one stolen, right? It's that kind of shit mm -hmm. all too often, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's like you, you have to. You have to, at some point, realize that you got to stand for something and stop falling for that bullshit. Because what's happening is them motherfucking boys ended up in jail anyway. Where's the logic? How you going to convince yourself that these motherfuckers, like, if I incriminate myself, you're going to let me go? I can see that from the 14-year-old. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the 16-year-old. But not the adult. No. Yeah. I understand no. the whole thing. 
But as a father, though, my thing about the father is, you how do you worry more about your fucking job than your child? A yeah. job comes and goes. Yeah. Who cares about a job? And but then karma comes back. Your father gets sick. And then you gotta take care of your father. You yeah. gotta be the big right. man to take care of your father. Karma comes yeah. back on you. Yeah, you know and he I mean? did. He did too. It's a, it's a great it's a great conversation starter, man. I wanna commend the writers, the directors, and the yeah, actors. Job. Man, the actors was amazing. I was Where are they? I was, I was, yeah. Man. This that's this that's this right. definitely deserves some awards out there. Let's see, let's see what Hollywood says when it comes around to to the to the hey, awards next you year. You know how it is, man. You know how it is with Hollywood. Denzel yeah. shit from Malcolm X, but he wait for training day. You know right, 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 right. You know what I mean? You gotta stop looking at Hollywood. But I want to see, like yeah. the young man that played Corey. I know he don't talk like that and act like that for real, but he played that. I said the same thing. And then when I looked, I looked at the real core. He even Jai favored him. Whoever the casting agent was for this did an amazing job. Yeah, that they did a great did job. job. Right, That's right, the, right. You From know, top to bottom, this, this was this was a, a great movie. Yeah. Ava, one person. Ava, I want you to do my life story, okay? When I was a crack whore, oh, I think gosh, you all of that. Oh, yeah. That's my crusty crack feet. <laughs> We got five somebody big enough to play you, bitch. We don't know who the fuck we got five first. <laughs> and Big Fun did. <laughs> Heavy D did. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy like, D did. Big Fun did. They can't play you. Pre Precious done lost weight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. It is. She probably could pull it off, but she ain't got the right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Nikki, you should tell your story, though. You got a good comeback yeah. story. Yeah. Mine is the greatest story I ever told. You niggas can't touch my self esteem. Fuck the both of you. Okay. Well, <laughs> please, please, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Know, you. you gotta get the glasses on. You better get all the NA people. When you finish NA, all get glasses. What? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm no. play Nikki. I'm gonna play Nikki. Play Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know what you should? You got, you got the same titties, nigga. <laughs> I was almost. <laughs> you got to you. Y'all, it's terrible. It's time for us to get out of here. We got All two right. minutes. Lil Timmy, what you doing this week? This weekend, I got a comedy competition, a six barrel comedy, and Friday in New, in New York. Then I'll be in Brooklyn, Mike, in New York for his birthday bash in uh in uh Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn Mike, and then, then I'll be in Jersey for Cool Bubba Ice Show. So I'm busy weekend in New York. You know what? I'm going with your ass this weekend, nigga. I'm going with you. You know why? Because I need yeah. these motherfuckers to know you got a bitch. All yeah, right? Yeah. I am yeah, that yeah. in your life. You know when nigga say something, he's like Chinese, Tim not here. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like him down there. <laughs> All right. I'm All going right, with babe. you. I'm going to bring my sissies too. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. I'm going to say, be Timmy team. We are Timmy Timmy. <laughs> okay. And you know what? You probably get me further anyway. Uh, that's why I need a gate manager. <laughs> <laughs> he get you anywhere. Boy, you like, you like, did, I like, did I get the deal? Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. That what you do, Nikki. Did I get the deal? You sure did. You good. <laughs> no. You good. You stop Monday, nigga. <laughs> you might be stoned out there. You might be stoned. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. You know what? I could do it. I could do it. If anybody can do it, I could do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yep. Question is what I Champion. Have. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's time for us to get out of here. Hey, nigga, nigga be so good, you be playing the, a white man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'll be directing I'll be, I'll be directing it. Directing it. <laughs> <laughs> they not even going to make you wear no wig, man. <laughs> he's right, white. Boy. He's white. Just believe it. Okay, mouth. Give us, give us up. Give us a little motivational moment and take us home. Hey, man. It's the beginning of a new week, man. A new day, a new start to do it all over again, man. Whatever you tried to accomplish and you didn't accomplish, just remember, it doesn't matter how fast you move forward. As long as you're moving forward in your day, your time, and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just keep dreaming, keep believing in yourself, and you can make it, man, because you were born to be great. You were born to be amazing, 
And that's a fact. And remember, if don't nobody love you, I love you, God love you, and whoever you believe in loves you. So let's go out there and get it. Let's be who we are. Let's be amazing as people. Let's be amazing as a person. And everything going to be all right. All right. We got to get the fuck out of here because <laughs> it's too early for this shit. All right, babe. Bye-bye. All right, man. Love y'all. Y'all be love good. Don't forget to like and share this feed, man. Tell a friend how to get in each and every day, 10.30ish, with Nikki and Timmy, y'all, right here. Too early for this shit. And that's that. <laughs> Holly.